Well, last episode, we won the league and we are automatically promoted. Now we're focusing on the FA Trophy. We are in the semifinals against Borum Wood. So we'll have highlights from the opening leg and then we'll play out the away leg in the second leg uh, today. So let's get to it. Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 21. This is Play the Kids, and this is episode 20. As we noted, we have won the league, but now we are shifting the focus to the FA Cup, or the FA Trophy, I'm sorry. Might be the same thing. Uh, but we are playing Borum Wood in the semifinals. Hopefully we can get the business done. We're going to go ahead and start Hemmings. I am going to take... Uh, Hughes off the bench. Nuevo is still on vacation. Let's put Guion Page on the bench. Now, all we're going to do is check highlights from this one, so we'll be right back with those. Well, you know who the star of the match was for us. There is a deep pass to Williams. He drives into the box and then beats the keeper with a step over before the keeper could go down on the ball. Williams would then line up a penalty and make the keeper look flat-footed on that one, making it 2-0 Tiverton. And in the 92nd minute, Hugh Gill controls the ball into Williams in the box, and he puts it on his right foot, slots it in at the near post, and we would take this one 3-0 over Borum Wood in the first leg. And that turns makes it look really good for us heading into the, into the away leg. So we'll be right back for that match. We are coming into a league match between the two FA Trophy legs. Uh, we're going to be playing East Thurrock, but uh, Tiverton on the verge of a new goals tally. We've scored 117 goals this year. The record is 118, so we have a shot, a really good shot at that one. And Ken Humphreys on the verge of a shutout record, 14 shutouts in 49 appearances. He's only conceded. 51 goals, so just one in one. And the record is our former goalkeeper, Adam Murphy, who had 15 shutouts last season, 63. Actually, that would have been two years ago, my bad. Uh, so looking to break his teammate's record, the guy he replaced. We have broken the record. Let's take a look real quick. So we just beat Thurrock 3-1. to one. Robin Mudge with a brace. Jose Luis Nuevo back from a week-long vacation. Uh, he scores in his return to the lineup, and we won that one 3-1. to one. So taking a look, we have uh, set the record for goals. Uh, we are now on 120 and counting. The previous record set by Gray's Athletic was just 118, so we've got that. We have also set uh, an 18-game unbeaten run. Going back to January 17th of this year, that is a new team record, so that is good. And John Bliss has become eligible for his first professional contract. Uh, you know, not bad he's getting his first professional deal, and he has played 33 matches for the club already. Definitely a step up this year, three goals, six assists, and two player of the matches in his first year as a regular in the side. We are up to the transfer deadline, so we have some business to maybe take care of. We'll take a look at any signings uh, when they come about. All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal, Taylor, Hemmings, Allard, and Izquierdo on the back line. Amid three of Ireland, Bryant and White. Cook in the number 10, Mudge and Williams up top. And uh, this is uh, for the second leg of the FA Trophy semifinals. We hold a 3-0 advantage from the home leg. So that is good. All right, tell them to avoid complacency. We're at Borum Wood. Three goals to our credit. And we can bring it home to the finals with a good showing here. York and Maidstone in the other leg. I don't know what the aggregate score is there. 
So we'll find out at the end of the match if, if we advance, assuming. Big play by Bug in the mid, in the goal. Saves the cross in from Cookie. Headed back to Humphreys. And we're right back on the attack. Bryant, Mudge. A uh, good step over by Mudge to get into the attack zone. Man, he scored enough goals to be a better finisher than that. Ireland already tired. I'm going to have to look at his fitness. He's been a good player for us so far, but I just don't know. There's Mudge at the near post. Can't get it in. Bugs there to make the save. I'm going to have to really look hard at... Uh, at Ireland moving forward. He's one of those guys, he just seems to be tired all the time. Nuevo, we've had to send. Oh, and Hemmings has whistled for an off-the-ball foul, and it sets up a penalty. Oh, that's, that's brutal. Humphreys goes the wrong way, and Boromwood are on the score sheet. One to nil in this leg. One to three on aggregate. We still hold a two-goal advantage. I'm assuming away goals matter. Maybe they don't. Williams can't get back on that ball. Setting up our foundation, our wall there. That's crossed in, and a header goes over the goal for a goal kick. Ireland is already tired, and I'm kind of watching his game rating. He's around a 6'5", six, 6'4". Six, I think we're going to pull him off at halftime. All right, let's pump the fist. Things are going well, but I know we're capable of better, and I did not make that sub, so let's go ahead and sub him off. Oh, he's nursing an injury, too. Potential lower leg injury. Bring White across. Let's bring Nuevo on out there. Can't hurt, right? Let's encourage him. Come on, boys. And I'm actually happy with... Oh, Izquierdo gets taken down. Is that a foul on us or on Hutchings? Oh, this could be a bad foul. Only a warning? Come on! Izquierdo over the top. It's Williams. And he blows it past the keeper. Number 50 on the season. What a season by Williams. And we have equalized at one. And that gives us a three-goal advantage once again in the aggregate. And also gives us one away goal advantage. So I think they've got to score four more to beat us, I think. Could be wrong on that. All right, let's go ahead and pull another sub here. Uh, Hemmings, we're going to bring on Tierney, and we're just going to milk these subs out as people get tired. We do have a few more people that are going to need to come off, but only one sub left. And Humphreys with the big save. I think that might have gone wide anyway. Is Cuierto. There's Bryant. Looking to make a play up to Williams. Not a good enough ball. Tierney up top. Uh, Mudge looked at that and said he's not going to make the effort there. <laughs> Tierney again. This time it's Williams. And I think Bug tipped it aside because I think that was going in. And Cook is going to line up for the corner. Near post gets cleared away. All right, we'll reset. White into the box. He's tackled, and I thought there was going to be a penalty there. All right, let's make another sub here. Nobody's asking to come off, but let's bring on a mid attacking mid center. That would be Bryant. Let's bring off uh, White. Let's put Bryant up top for Cook. Yep, let's do that. Play Brian outside. We'll put Bliss in the mid. And we are down to the final three minutes. Mudge, Williams wide open. Oh, and he plops it in the corner. Number 51 on the season. 
Mudge with a beautiful assist. Two on one breakaway. That was just a good give and go. Mudge controls it. Brooks is hung out in no man's land. Williams times it perfectly to stay on sides. And then doesn't try to overpower or get fancy. Just slots it in right at the post. I guess they're going to look at the offsides here. Yeah, he was fine. All good. And we're into the final minutes. One to five on aggregate. We have dominated this one against Borum Wood. Outstretched arms for sure. Playing in the final. And that will be our next match. Let's see what happens here. $28,900. That's good. We're going to Wembley. That's even better. Benjamin Ireland out for one to two days. Williams with another brace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's finish the day and see. The finals usually at the end of the season, if I remember correctly. I know the FA Cup is, so the FA Trophy might not be. It might be a little earlier. Rawlings withdraws his transfer request. Oh my God, we're winning silverware. I don't want to leave now. I, I may take you off the transfer list, but I will remember that. <laughs> There's no chance in hell that I forget. All right, and yes, the FA Trophy final match of the season. So I'm going to go ahead and binge out, play the rest of the matches. We will come back for Truro highlights. We'll take a look at the final stats for the regular league season. And then we'll play out the FA Trophy final for another chance at silverware. Uh, here in the... We had a player sent off in that match? Oh, that was somewhere else up here. I, I don't know what, what's highlighted, but I was like, I don't remember Slam Dunk playing in this game. <laughs> don't recall that at all. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content. We have climbed the podium last episode, and we could climb the podium again next episode to end this season. And don't forget, we've already gained promotion. So we are heading into the Bonorama. Let's see. I think it's just the Bonorama National League. Yes. So we have the South and the North. So the North, Chesterfield's in the playoffs. They look like they'll get the automatic promotion. And then the Bonorama National League. So, ooh, Torquay's up there from last year. Yep. So we'll be coming into that group of people. Who else is up here? Ooh, Hartley Pool. Bellaricky. Okay, so they've made a they've made a good run for themselves. They were the, from our league. So yeah. Morecambe, Morecambe was in our league, weren't they? I think so. But anyway, so that's where we'll be next year. Climbing the ladder here, boys. Take care. Bye.